As soon as they're born, the only processing I do right away is ear notching. And I do ear notching right away for identification purposes. It is the required identification method for my registration for Tamworth Swine Association. So all registered Tamworths have a, a certain ear notching system. And uh, in order to register the pigs and have them recognized, I needed to ear notch. Another reason is that as a certified organic grower, I need to be able to track my piglets from birth all the way to pork chop. And so that numbering system helps me keep track of them that way. In addition to that, sometimes when litters are all born at the same time and I have a sow that has a really large litter, I might need to foster some of her pigs to another litter. And I want to know for breeding purposes who that pig is before I move it to another sow because that's not her pig even though she's going to raise it. So it's important for me to individually identify that pig. Notching is a one-time thing. It's quick and dirty. They're notched and it's never going to bother them again. You do it when they're really little. It's a permanent mark. You never have to adjust it or change it. You never have to replace an ear tag. It's a one-time stress and it's done. I want to do it when they're little and it's the least amount of trauma possible. Their ears are really thin and it's a really good time to handle them and not cause a lot of undue trauma. You wait to ear notch a few days, the ears thicken up, the piglets are more active, and it's just all more intense for them. I count their teats, and this is important if I'm going to save any breeding stock. I want to know how many teats they are because they pass that on to their young. I know whether it's male or female. I note whether the testicles are descended. I give them a, a grade, one, two, or three, a one being the very best piglet, and a two being moderate, and a three as a runt. And I'm not necessarily weighing them or being real technical about it. I just want a sense of what those piglets were like when they were born. Um, because later on, they may grow out of it, and I might not remember that. That was a runt, and I don't want to breed that pig, even though she looks okay now. So usually while I'm ear notching, uh, Mike or Rosie or an intern will write down the information about the litter as I notch them. I don't do any iodine navel dipping. I've had really good success not doing that. I've had, you know, a couple of piglets with a little navel infection over the years, but probably not any more than I would have if I had iodined. And I just feel like it's one more stressor. Um, it can sting. It can get on the mom's noses. It makes an uh, intense scent that can mess with her scent reality. So I found that since I don't need to do it, I'm just not going to do it. And then I just let the sow get settled in and, uh, and nurse 